Thanos collects all five Pokos and destroys the universe. More at nine. So we got some fancy fan arts here. I would play the heck out of this. 12v12 sounds like mad chaos. I would love that. Imagine if your phone had to tilt that way. Ooh, ooh. New 3v3 concept. Okay, I actually like this one. Impressive. If Brawl Stars can do 3v3, then why can't Clash Royale do 3v3? Who would win? A literal nuke or hot air balloon made of cloth? Pretty obvious. The cloth would win. Can we all agree that the Ice Wizard buff was a little underwhelming? So he added a bit of a snowball knockback, much like the Electro Wizard has the zap stun. But that's the difference. Electro Wizard is four elixir. Ice Wizard is three. For him to have that knockback, he'd have to be worth at least four. At least. Having fun crossing the river. Oh, I know what's going to happen. They're going to do the jump dance. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Another hee 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 ha ha. 43 health. <laughs> you tornado on the top right. That's great. Another lovely day in mid ladder. Tower freezes, counters with Mega Knight. Oh no. Three to five business day delivery. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's totally not lagging. What was that? <laughs> Okay, I wasn't expecting the end part there. That was worth the wait. One health left. His opponent just needs the magic archer geometry right now. Nope. No geometry. This is going to be a massive comeback. He's really not getting... The goblin barrel is connecting over and over very slowly. He's actually doing the same thing. His opponent keeps doing battle ram in the pocket. Stop feeding him. Elixir stealer. Oh, wow. There's even art with that. That's cool. Steals elixir. Oh. In case you didn't know, the level 11 ice golem's death damage is the same as the level 11 ice wizard's spawn damage. Imagine. Couldn't be me if I didn't know that. That actually makes a lot of sense. The balancing team did a good job on connecting the dots in that. I love consistent interactions. The average e bar player. What? what? <laughs> There's the rage. Oh, I love it. Larry needs to be stopped. Ain't no way Larry's gonna make it. Ain't no way. Oh! Oh! That, he survived one? Ain't no way that freeze is gonna... Hey, it's on Reddit. It happened. Oh, I love you, Larry. Mid-ladder players carefully choosing the worst combination of cards to max out so they can get stuck at Challenger 3. Let's max out the Wizard. Let's max out the Mega Knight and then get just completely clowned on later on when we're in mid-ladder. Mid-ladder players, when their E-barbs and balloons first play, doesn't take the tower. Huh? What is up with the subreddit hating a mid ladder? It is them that is mid ladder. It's y'all's that's mid ladder. That's the problem. What card is this without checking? Okay, it's melee. Medium speed. Only targets ground. 2600 health. 354 area damage. Hard to say without knowing the level. Is that a Dark Prince? Oh, it's a Valkyrie. Ah, oh, the Dark Prince is faster and not as tanky. Dang. Which creator code do you use? It's been a while. This is an old emote from three years ago. I don't remember where I got it from. It's from that art book. It was free in the shop because of the movie. It was from this 11 minute Clash short film, Lost and Crowned, which you can find, by the way, on the Clash of Clans channel. Just search Lost and Crowned. It's so worth the watch. <laughs> it's Hog 2.6 cycle. Oh, that's so good. Can this guy get an emote? Can this guy appear in the game as a legendary card, as a legendary spell? He's the lawnmower. He mows the grass and he just pushes units out of the way like a massive knockback, but slowly. I would play the heck out of this card. Oh, look at that. It's the Knights. You got the Knight, the Mega Knight, and the Gold. Golden Knight. I was playing on my mini. What is this? Princess takes up the infra. What the? <laughs> he thought the princess was musketeer range. This is his first time seeing a princess. What a poor soul. Oh no. Perks of having a level 14 fireball. Oh. Wait, but level 13 fireball kills all of that. Guy misses three spells in three seconds. Misses the princess on the freeze. The tornado did nothing? The barbarian bear? Oh my, no. Got a legendary from a gold chest. Impressive, but I've seen legendaries in three chests until they removed it. Types of OJ. You got whale J. You've got calculated J. Cheese J. Oh, I remember this ring of fire, ring of donut cheese. Rush J. Oh, that was good. And flex J. I feel like flex J is like whale J. For those of y'all that think Nat is my girlfriend, you're all wrong. It's Sakura Spike. It always has been. I love you, Sakura Spike. Breaking news. Three Florida men spending $12,000 to bully nine-year-olds. They still failed to do so.
When you miss an open goal and your Poco and Byron teammates keep healing you. <laughs> that took me a while. They love me. They're totally not pissed at you and they're shooting in anger. Because usually you shoot in anger and that's what the whole thing. New Brawl Talk. This was when Brawl Talk was coming out. I just can't get excited anymore. Oh, really? I'm still excited about Brawl Talk. I can see where this post is coming from. I'm still excited. I don't care about you. Me before the level 11 update. Two new brawlers. Nice. I can get one from the Brawl Pass and have a really high legendary drop rate. Me now. That's another 7,000 power points, 7,000 numerous other boxes and 0.2544% drop box chance. And I have to remax all 52 brawlers. Oh. Yep. I think super Supercell could have done this a little bit better, but I'm still grateful for their content. Duels gets released. Surge mains, stew mains, and buzz mains because the supers carry over. So you definitely want these brawlers on your first picks. The main reason why I'm hyped for brawl days. You've got Star Poco, Love Poco, Original Poco, Punk Poco. Finally, Pirate Poco is back. What is this? Why is that Jesse like that? Huh. Give Grom some love, right? Grom is so fun. Spent 17 hours to draw this three-year anniversary. Wow, I can draw some stick figures. Meanwhile, they just drew 52 brawlers. I'm sorry, but this is amazing for the cost. It really is. 49 gems for Logma Spike. I called it first in my video. This is the one. This is the jam. This is how we roll. What do y'all like about this update? I like Grom. I like Fang. Orochi Edgar. Logma Spike. Get that griff out of my face. El Tigro. That's the cutest one. Duels. Oh, this update is solid. Reloading a gun. That's small brain. Reloading a shovel. Now we're talking. Reloading a shoe. How? That is such a good point. The new thrower be like, oh yeah. Grom is really tall. Starcat there. Can we all just pause and appreciate Starcat's artwork? It's so cute. I don't usually like Tick, but that's cute. Screenshot with the world champion. How did this two-year-old make it in there? What? Look at the world champion just flexing his trophy. I mean, he's, he's Cat Jesse's trophy, but this, this trophy emote, I think only like 20 people in the world have it, and it's all of the world champions. Look at this fan art from Zidane. How does pixel art work? Do you have to do them one by one? Is there an algorithm to this, or do you just have to actually draw them all? It really is so good. Wait, I never knew I needed a buff Santa bow until now. Santa comes along. What would you like, little OJ? Oh, no one like you. <laughs> Brawl Stars releasing two brawlers in the next update. Free to play players and pay to win players. For real, right? Here's to three years of the funniest mayhem and surely many more to come. Happy Cake Day, Brawl Stars. That's nice of Clash Royale to say that. Plus, look at that. They sneak peeked Grom before we even knew it was Grom. And they, they cleverly guised that as the executioner. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's like an artistic spin on the executioner with like a pastel pink. No, that's red for Grom. Right off the bat, I already knew this is Nana. Oh, that's so cute. A whole calendar collection. On that. I'm going to her Instagram and I'm going to like that post. I had a dream that I was dating my crush. My dreams. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not the Kentucky Fried Man. This is not real. This is really well edited. Where's this from? Consistent Produce 1. Did you make this? That's actually so good. Don't worry, they're going to eat a salad. Keep telling yourself that blockery. Made Tick and Byron's heart pins out of yarn. Took 10 hours. I believe that. It looks amazing. I don't usually like Tick. That's really cool. Point of view, you entered the middle of showdown. <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh my goodness. What are they doing? They're mo they're PMing. To hide his fear, he uses a happy looking hoodie to cover his face. Same. Evil Brawl Stars. Good randoms, balanced brawlers. No lag. Brawl Stars, but you're tiny. <laughs> what? That's a lot of masking to do that. No way. <laughs> Pendo did a really good job of editing this. Wow. Surges are predictable. <laughs> the, the Gale activated that. That's so good. Swish surge. Eight cube surge. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> I've never seen Mind Mania do that. Oh my goodness. If he didn't use the super, that w he would have been able to walk out with just three bombs. Rico has some dodging skills. Ain't no way. Ain't no way Amber tried to sabotage him. People who don't know. People who know. Hey, this is Nana and Corey. Nana, if you watch this, I really love your artwork a lot. It's so cute. I made Dynamite waste the super. Oh, why? Oh, he teleport. So the Primo yeeted the Dynamite into the teleporter right as he threw the super. 
Wow. Oh, well, that's everything. My name is OJ and this is the Juicy News Network.